Gold, WTI, then Brent crude, silver and copper, the top five commodity futures traded on the Saxo platform in 2013. What comes in at number 10 might surprise you, but first, the obvious ones. Gold has obviously had a terrible year this year. We're, we're down almost 30%. Uh, there's obviously not much uh, end in, in sight at the moment, but, uh, but still, it, it remains a, a liquid contract. It, it offers um, great opportunities for, for day traders, also for potentially slightly longer-term investors. And oil markets, again, it's something that affects us all. It's a, a liquid market. It's trading around the clock, and uh, it, it attracts uh, traders from across the world. As for silver, you've really got to have your wits about you. It is uh, the, the worst performing uh, commodity so far this year. It's down by more than 30%, back below $19. We are, we are really far away from the $50 peak we saw just a couple of years ago. But, but I think the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the allure of silver is basically its volatility, a lot of intraday action. So I hear you ask, what about milling wheat? Well, that's the high value stuff traded in Paris. Not quite as glamorous as gold, but it does have many attractions for traders and it's at our number 10. What we find is actually we have quite a lot of uh, agricultural clients who use, uh, who use our, our, our platform to hedge their production uh, throughout the year. And also that's creating quite a lot of trading and, and interest in the milling wheat. So, so at the moment, uh, it, it has been uh, obviously an interesting year for agricultural products. Just recently, milling wheat has actually been doing quite well. There's quite, been quite strong export demands.